Welcome, my name is Matt, Orchbeast34, and today I'll be showing you how to make an area of blocks unbreakable in Minecraft with World Edit and World Guard. This is a remake of an almost 5 year old tutorial that was by far the most popular on my channel. I left a lot out in the tutorial, so I'll be including more in this one and diving a little deeper into the World Guard plugin. I also have timestamps for this video and a frequently asked questions section at the end. And yes, I know I've received a lot of these comments. Downloading World Guard and World Edit varies on each server. On server hosting services like Minehunt or Aternos, you simply go to the plugin section and click install, and that's it. Then you restart the server. It may vary depending on how you're hosting your server, so look up a tutorial on how to install plugins for that specific server if you're having issues. I'll also leave a download link for World Guard and World Edit in the description. You'll only need this link if you're not going through a server hosting service, most likely. So let's go over some basic requirements before we start. You'll need both World Guard and World Edit. Restart the server once you've installed the plugins. You can only do this tutorial if you're an operator on the server. You need to be on the Java version of Minecraft. Your server needs to support the bucket API. Then head to the server console and type op, then your name to make sure you're an operator. Once you verify that you're an op on the server, you can type slash slash wand and you will get this wooden axe, which we will use to select a rectangular area. If you want to select a more regular shape, like a sphere, head to the world edit documentation or look at what's on screen now. But I'm going to be selecting a rectangle. First, left click one corner on the bottom, then go to the opposite corner. You can type slash up then a block amount that puts you above your upper limit, and then right click this. So this just created a rectangle around our house that goes all the way up to where I'm standing now. Get rid of that. If you want to go from bedrock to build limit, you can do expand vert, and that will now expand the selection from bedrock all the way up to the however high up the sky goes. Now do region define and name your region something. I will name my region house. With newer versions of World Guard, as soon as you define the region, it will completely protect it from everything, so you won't even be able to open doors. To have more control over what's allowed and what's not, type region flag, pass through, allow. Now you can edit specific flags. To make it so other players cannot break blocks in the house region with their hand or tools, you would do region flag, house, block break, deny. House is just the name of my region. You probably named it something different, so make sure to type whatever the region name is. So now. You cannot break blocks in this area. As Donut L said, you can still break blocks because you are an operator. If you want to test if other players cannot break blocks, either deop yourself in the console, bring on another account, or have a trusted friend testing it. I will be using my alt account for testing World Guard. So if I were to make the blocks breakable in that area again by doing allow, my alt account can now break blocks in that area. If I were to change it to deny, my alt account cannot break blocks because he's not an operator. Block break is just one of many different flags in World Guard. I'll give you some more examples of restrictions you might want to implement. You could do region flag house PVP deny, and that would not allow PVP in the house region. You could also do region flag, the name of your region, block place deny, and now non-operators cannot place blocks in that region. You could also do item drop deny. This will not allow them to drop items in that specific region. If you want to remove any of the flags, just do RG flag, the region name, then the flag, and that will remove the flag entirely. So if I wanted to remove the PVP flag entirely, I would just do that, but I'm not going to do that. If you do not want players to be able to use things like doors, levers, or saddles, you would do region flag house interact deny. Although keep in mind, many flags could overlap and they could cause errors if you set them to be conflicting. For example, don't set interact to allow, but use to deny because those are two flags that do very similar things. Some more helpful flags to make the region unbreakable are creeper explosion, other explosion, fire spread, respawn anchors, TNT, and there are many more I could not list. I'll leave a link in the description with a lengthy World Guard documentation in case you're looking for something even more specific. Also, World Guard has a nice menu with all the flags you can change. You can get to this menu by doing RG flags, then the region name. So here you can simply click in the chat instead of typing everything out. Although do not go randomly changing things on and off because that could cause some unwanted effects. Now let's go over some of the questions that were asked in my last Unbreakable Blocks video that will probably be asked again. Creative players cannot 
break blocks if they are not an operator. To make it so certain blocks can't be breaked or placed, you would need another plugin, either World Guard Restrictor or World Guard Extra Flags. Any version of World Guard should be fine unless they end up changing all the commands after this video. Sure. Make sure to do block break deny in addition to block police deny. To delete a region, just do RG delete, then the name. To allow animals to be killed in the region, do RG flag, the name of the region, and then damage animals allow. If you want to apply these changes to the entire world, you would type the region as double underscore global double underscore, then type the flag to apply the changes to the entire world. I could do region flag global with double underscores and do chest access deny. This would deny chest access for people inside this house area and for those outside the region. So it's a global effect. So that command just applied it to the entire world where no one can open any chest. Although be careful when applying changes to the global region, it could mess up other regions you have. If you had any issues, leave a comment down below. If not, that's it. If you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.